Hi. In this session, I will be discussing special movement indicator. This is actually a subtopic uh, under the interface between IM and WM, which we have already discussed. So, what is a special movement indicator and when do we actually use it? So, you may not always want to process control settings in warehouse management to be valid for all the materials. The special movement indicator is an instrument with which you can restrict the effect of certain settings to selected materials or to individual activities. So, say for example, you are doing a goods receipt and there is a certain material which you would want to directly put away in a fixed bin or you want to influence certain processes for that particular material which are not applicable to the general material that comes in the warehouse. So, you can use a functionality called a special movement indicator which will help the system to identify that this material is to be treated differently. So, if you have, say for example, a liquid material that is coming and you don't want to put it in the goods receiving area, you can make a setting so that this material, when you do a goods receipt, directly goes into its designated fixed bin. Or, for example, if we are doing some internal warehouse processes, uh, maybe scrapping, and there is certain type of material that you would want to treat in a different way, uh, you would want to put it in a different uh, scrapping area. So, you can influence the way the movement types are uh, affecting the further processes. You can have a uh, transfer order immediately confirmed for a certain type of material, and so on. So, let us see in the system how we set up a special movement indicator and influence a different way in which this material will be processed in the warehouse. So, let us see it in the system. I am in SPRO. I will uh, just demonstrate what all customizing settings we need to do to set up the special movement indicator. Now, the settings that we do here is just an indication of how uh, special movement indicator could be used. You can make uh, the settings as per uh, your uh, requirements. So, the first we have to create a special movement indicator. We go to we go to logistics execution, warehouse management, master data, material and we define a special movement indicator here. It could be any key that you would define and further use. So, I am defining a new key 001. I define a new key as A and uh, let's say you would want to do a direct put away. So, this is for information that we would be doing or we'll be using this special moment indicated for doing a direct put away. I save this and come back. Next, we have to create a movement type in the warehouse which would be a different movement type and that could to be used with for a special movement indicator. So, since I want to do a direct put away, what I will do is I will create a copy of 101 and create my own movement type to be used whenever uh, a material which has having a special movement indicator A comes into the warehouse. So, I, I, crea I create a copy of this and I give or I create a new movement type 901 and I also describe it as DIREC it put away. Next, I would want to have it go into a bin directly that I specify. So, I have created a bin FIXED01, which is a designated fixed bin for a certain material. So, I would want the system to directly put the material here. And also, I want for this material, I don't want any transfer order manually confirmed. 
So I would want an immediate confirmation of uh, the transfer order that I created for uh, this material. So I check this box. Now, um, although this box checking uh, is sufficient or should be sufficient theoretically for confirming a transfer order uh, in the background, but in my um, experience, I found that I have to check both these check boxes so that the transfer order that is created is automatically or immediately confirmed in the background. So we have this setting done. Now, in order that material, uh, in order that the system picks up this movement type, whenever a material with a special movement indicator A comes in the warehouse, we have to do one more setting. So I save this and we go to interfaces inventory management define movement types and in the place where we define the lew interface to inventory management i am going to create a duplicate entry for the reference movement type 101 which is used to do a goods receipt so this movement type now should point to my uh, new created movement type 901 and i will be giving the special movement indicator in this place so this is how you create your own movement type so the reference movement types remains the same i will give my warehouse number so when you specify a warehouse number then this particular config is applicable only to your warehouse otherwise the star 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 would mean that that configuration is available or applicable to all the warehouses in the client so i set up the special moment indicator a and i set up my movement type 9 i would want to create an immediate to so i select a so you can have a look we have two options, three options rather. You select A, the transfer order created in the background. If you select X, it would call the transaction for creation of a transfer order for material document. And if you leave it blank, it is not going to initiate a TJ creation. Now, I am doing this setting just for demonstration. You can use this concept and make your own uh, setting the way you want what i'm trying to demonstrate here is that whenever you have a material with a special movement indicator a the system should create a transfer order immediately with a movement type 901 and we have just finished the movement type 901 configuration for this warehouse so the, the transfer order that is created with the movement type 901 would get confirmed immediately for other transfer orders which are created from the goods receipt they are to be manually processed because they will be picking up the movement type 101 so i save this setting i have to make a entry in the master data material master i go to the material master and make an entry in the warehouse management one tab i will just show you the fixed bin data also so here is the place where i can make the entry for special movement indicator i will make an entry a and i will save the I'll just show you if you have to make a fixed bin entry you can also make it here if you extend the material at a storage type level then you can see this additional tab additional area where you can make or maintain the fixed bin at this time i am not maintaining this this was just for information what i have done is i have made the special movement indicator entry over here so whenever the system is doing a goods receipt 
Uh, for this material, it will check if there is a special moment indicator. Then it will go to the reference moment type 101 and find if there is an entry maintained uh, which is uh, having a special moment indicator A. Once it finds that entry, it would check what is the warehouse moment type. It would see the warehouse moment type as 901 and then it would perform the creation and the immediate confirmation of the transfer order based on our customizing settings. So let us see. How this happens uh, in the system, I have a purchase order, I am receiving a partial quantity 3 for it and I post it. Once I post it, as per our settings, the system should pick up movement type 901 and do a an creation of transfer order immediately in the background and also confirm it. So I post it and the material document is posted. Let us see the transfer order. The transfer order can be displayed with the transaction LT21. Here we can see that the transfer order is created with the source storage bin 902, which is in the movement type config, and the destination bin has been picked as. FIXED01 which we have given in the movement type 901. Note that we have not in included this bin in the material master but we have used a special movement indicator to achieve this. So this is just one way of demonstrating how we can use a special movement indicator. You can see that the movement type captured by the system is 901. So this is how you use a special moment indicator. There are many ways that you can further use it based on your requirements. But the idea behind this particular demonstration was how to influence a different process based on the special moments indicator. So we have seen uh, one way of uh, using the special moment indicator. You can further try out different processes the way you want and the way you want to influence processes for specific materials using the special movement indicator.